sudden blast of nature's power on a quiet summer afternoon. Visitors strolling along the boardwalks of Yellowstone's Norris Geyser Basin were startled by a, a sudden roar echoing through the valley. Within moments, Eagle Plume Geyser, a largely dormant hydrothermal feature, erupted violently, shooting a column of boiling water and steam nearly 60 meters to 100 feet into the air. The ground trembled slightly as the geyser continued its display for nearly five minutes, sending mist and sulfurous vapor across the basin. Witnesses described the event as both terrifying and awe-inspiring. It was like the earth was screaming, said Marco Alvarez, a tourist from Spain. Everyone just froze for a second, and then people started backing away quickly. You could feel the heat in the air. Park rangers quickly evacuated the immediate area to ensure visitors' safety, although no injuries were reported. Scientific significance of the eruption. Yellowstone National Park is home to the largest concentration of geothermal features on Earth, with over 500 active geysers. Most of these follow a somewhat what, predictable pattern, but Eagle Plume Geyser has remained mostly inactive for over a decade, with only minor bubbling observed in recent years. Its sudden reawakening intrigues scientists. Dr. Leela Harris, a hydrothermal geologist with the U.S. Geological Survey's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory (YVO), explained that geyser eruptions are the result of complex underground processes. Water seeps deep into the earth, where it is superheated by underlying magma. When the pressure in these underground chambers becomes too high, it finds a release what we see as a geyser eruption. The event suggests a recent shift in Yellowstone's subterranean plumbing system. This could be due to several factors. Seismic activity the region experienced a swarm of micro-earthquakes to days before the eruption. These tiny tremors can create fractures that allow water and steam to escape more easily. Dot seasonal changes. Increased groundwater from snowmelt may have infiltrated deeper layers, contributing to pressure buildup. Thermal fluctuations. Variations in heat flow from Yellowstone's magma chamber can alter the dynamics of geysers. Data collected during the eruption including seismic readings, water chemistry samples, and gas emissions will help scientists understand these interactions. Public safety and park monitoring. Although the eruption caused panic among some visitors, Yellowstone National Park officials emphasized that such events, while dramatic, are not unusual in a geothermal hotspot. However, it also serves as a reminder that Yellowstone is an active volcanic system. The geysers are beautiful but uh, unpredictable, said Ranger Daniel Whitmore. That's why we stress staying on boardwalks and following posted safety rules. The ground here can be thin and unstable. The park remains at normal volcano alert level green, meaning there is no sign of an imminent volcanic eruption. Nevertheless, scientists have stepped up monitoring in the Norris Basin, 
Remote thermal cameras and gas sensors have been installed to detect any changes in underground heat or chemical emissions. Satellites equipped with infrared imaging are also scanning the area to track heat anomalies. Broader implications for Yellowstone's volcanic system. Yellowstone sits atop one of the world's largest volcanic calderas, formed by a massive eruption about 640,000 years ago. While another super eruption is extremely unlikely in the near future, smaller scale hydrothermal explosions where pressurized steam blasts through the surface are relatively common. Events like the Eagle Plume eruption provide scientists with valuable insights into how heat and fluids move through the park's underground network. By analyzing the gases released as, as carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide, researchers can infer changes in magma activity far below the surface. Dr. Harris emphasized every eruption, even a small one, is a data point. It tells us something about the hidden processes shaping this landscape. A visitor experience uh, and respect. Despite the initial fear, many tourists who witnessed the eruption described it as an unforgettable experience. Once I realized we were safe, I just stood there in amazement, said Sarah Mitchell from Oregon. It's like watching the earth breathe wild, powerful, and alive. Yellowstone National Park remains open to visitors, but officials urge caution and respect for the natural forces at work. The incident has also sparked renewed interest among scientists, with research teams planning extended field studies in the Norris area over the coming months.